Good morning, River Heights. How are we doing on this fine Monday morning? Oh, what a weekend, huh? Hopefully yours is a good weekend. And now we start the, uh, the week. And so happy Monday to you. Um, yeah, it's kind of cloudy outside, you know, typical winter day. So hopefully you're able to get out. It's not too chilly. Good morning, Marianne and Paul. Um, it's not, I mean, it's still chilly, but hey, it's Minnesota, right? So put it going on and go out for a walk. Be great. Be awesome. Ah, it's so good to be with y'all this morning. Um, happy Monday. And today I want to take a look at Psalm 16. Um, so if you want to take out your Bible, you're more than welcome to your Bible app, whatever you want to do. I'm going to read um, Psalm 16 today. Psalm just kind of gets me going. You know, I'm not a coffee drinker, bad than that, but I'm not a coffee drinker. Um, so it's like coffee for me. <clears throat> Sometimes it gets me going. So it's great that um, I'm able to, to do this and, and we can do it together. So, you know, I just, I love the Psalms. They, um, I think they get me going because it, it, they bring peace to me and <clears throat> just to the things that are going on, you know, with four kids at home, one in college, um, volleyball, work, all this stuff that's going on, just chaos. And a lot of you know that chaos and, and are familiar with that. And um, even some are, have been familiar with that. And so uh, we need some peace and calmness and Psalm does that for me. The Psalms do that. Uh, for me, so it's just kind of it's kind of fun to to share with you um, some psalms that um, help me and get me through some things and kind of put it put a little calm and peace to the chaos. Good morning, Mary. And so it is. It's great that we get to do it together. And again, uh, Psalm 16. I'm going to to read that this morning. We're going to take a look at it um, and just share your thoughts as as I read it. Um, or when I'm done with it, um, just share share your thoughts on what how you think it. How does it affect you? Uh, what do you think about it? And I love that part. It's um, interactive. Good morning, Bonnie. And so I just want to let me let me start off with with uh, with prayer. I just want to pray for us, and then uh, we're going to get to read in Psalm 16. So <sighs> just come, Holy Spirit. Just thank you for. <clears throat> A great Monday. Thank you that we get to, to kick our Monday off um, with you, with each other. Uh, Lord, show us, just show us, give us a little nugget for the day. Something that we can hold on to and grab a hold of. Um, just open our hearts to you today, Father. We just thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Psalm 16. I want to take a look at that this morning. And it's a Psalm of David, and uh, it says this, Keep me safe, O God, for I have come to you for refuge. I said to the Lord, You are my master. Every good thing I have comes from you. The godly people in the land are my true heroes. I take pleasure in them. Troubles multiply for those who chase after other gods. I will not take part in their sacrifices of blood or even speak the names of their gods. Lord, you alone are my inheritance, my cup of blessing. You guard all that is mine. The land you have given me is a pleasant land. What a wonderful inheritance. I will bless the Lord who gives me. Even, it, even at night, my heart instructs me. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad, and I rejoice. My body rests in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. Good morning, Nisa and Brittany. And if I miss anybody else, good morning, everyone. Just reading Psalm 16. <clears throat> and you can take a minute and read that. Uh, we just read through it. It's 11 verses. So it's kind of short. 
Um, and then just share what, how does that affect you this morning? And, and what do you think about that? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I, I just love that, Lord, you alone are my inheritance. I don't want to deal, and I just love that because David doesn't want to deal with all the other things, all the other stuff. He wants, um, <clears throat> he just wants the inheritance of the Lord. He's excited about that. Um, he wants to bless the Lord. And I love the part in verse nine. Good morning, Bradley. Uh, in verse nine where he says, no wonder my heart is glad and I rejoice. My body rests in safety. That's the thing. To me, when I, when I think about the Lord and, my, and when I know that I'm with the Lord and I remember that because sometimes I do forget. But when I remember I am with the Lord and I'm a part of the Lord and, and the Lord is with me, I, I'm glad. I rejoice. I'm, I'm calm. I have that peace in my life. And even, even this past weekend, we were in a volleyball tournament all weekend. And, you know, got a little chaotic every once in a few times. But just knowing that God is with me, knowing that my rock and my salvation is next to me, is with me all the time, gives me rest, gives me peace. And so, as he says in verse 4, troubles multiply for those who chase after other gods. Troubles multiply. And so when we have the Lord, troubles will be there, but the Lord's going to help us sort through all that. He guides us, he gives us direction. And I love Psalm, I love this Psalm, Psalm 16. <clears throat> so if you want to share what you think about this Psalm or how this Psalm affects you or, um, what really comes to mind when you read through this psalm? Um, I just, I just love the part about being glad and rejoicing because we can have that joy. Joy is that deep down um, knowledge of knowing that we're taken care of, that everything's going to be okay, even when there's chaos, even when there's trouble. Um, it's going to be okay. Maybe not right that second, maybe in the future a little bit. But either way, it's going to be okay because God is with us and he's always for us. He's not against us. And he says, you will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. Thank you, Bradley, for sharing. That's great. Yes, we can do all things. Yes, we can make it through because Christ is with us. God is with us. Um, and then what's interesting is that in verse 10, for you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. A little foreshadowing maybe? Hmm? I don't know. But what I do know is that Jesus is not in the grave and he is for us and he's not against us. That's what keeps me a little calmer. That's what gives me peace. Psalm Another Psalm, Psalm 16. So I would encourage you, read Psalm 16. Pray over Psalm 16. How does it affect you? What, what is it about Psalm 16 that gives you peace, that brings comfort to you? Let me pray for us. So Holy Spirit, we just invite you to come and we say thank you for your word, your word that is a light unto our path, that is a lamp to our feet. Lord, I just thank you for that. Thank you for guiding us, giving us wisdom, giving us discernment. Thank you for bringing peace amongst the chaos. Giving us joy where there other people find sorrow. We find joy. And not in an offensive way, but just an overabundance of peace and calmness through chaos and trouble. So Lord, I thank you for that. Thank you that you're a God. Thank you for being a God who cares for his kids, a dad who loves us no matter what. So Holy Spirit, just come. We just thank you. It's in your name we pray, amen. Guys, I wanna thank you for joining me this morning with Psalm 16. I really appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, it brings some comfort to you this week um, and today. So I would encourage you to read that. 
Um, you can join uh, Gay tomorrow at 8 a.m. for uh, Zoom prayer. If you need that link, you can uh, email her at gay at riverheightsvineyard.org. Um, oh, I like that, Brittany. I will not be shaken for he is right beside me. I love that. That is so true. Oh, that is so true. Yeah. Not be shaken because he's right with us. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, join join Gay tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for uh, prayer. And uh, guys, it's it's so fun to be with you every Monday at 10. I uh, really appreciate you. Love you. God bless. Have a great, great Monday. And Kevin, love you too, man. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.